Okay, so this series of video lectures, we're going to be talking about the financial system, saving, and investment. And in particular, we're going to be talking about these things in the long run. LR, long run. <coughs> so, a lot of times, people think the financial system is the same as the monetary system. And that's actually not going to be true. We can actually have a financial system, even in an economy with no money. Simple Village, full of simple people, is going to be, say for instance, in a situation where some people have good harvests, and so they get lucky and they have good harvests, and so they're going to have more grain, grain than they need. And some people have bad harvests. So they're going to have a shortfall. And you can see that, you know, we need some way to coordinate the fact that some people have more than they need and some people want to borrow. So these people are savers because their income is above their current desire for using resources. And these people are borrowers. Now that just makes it sound like we're sort of trading off consumption over time. And some borrowing and lending does occur, obviously, for that purpose. Ultimately, though, we're interested in saving an investment at the overall societal level rather than which particular individuals are saving or investing. And so what we're really interested in is the net saving that goes on and how that relates to investment spending. And remember, we have this GDP accounting equation, y equals c plus i plus g plus exports minus imports, and we have investment spending. Investment spending is spending on real goods and services that are going to increase the economy's productive capacity. So, in addition to some people having bad harvests and wanting to consume more than their income that year, maybe some people want to expand their planted area, or they want to have some grain so they can feed some people to build an irrigation ditch, or they want to go ahead and build a new barn or something like that, and they're going to need to pay some people for the lumber and so on and so forth. Um, so that's what we're really interested in, is how many people are engaging in this investment. When we talk about the financial system, we're going to throw things into two broad categories. One is going to be financial intermediaries. So intermediaries are, of course, middlemen. So they're going to stand between the savers, who are ultimately also lenders, and their borrowers who are ultimately investors, people who are engaging in that investment spending. This is in contrast to a financial market where there's no intermediary, no middleman, and we're going to have savers and borrowers directly interacting. So 
So lenders and investors directly interacting. So I'll go ahead and do a video segment on each of those.